Martinsville Motor Speedway. Justin Allgaier on the pull again. I don't know how he does it. I'm going to have to change the ratings because this is getting a little unfair. But, uh, yeah. So, Sam Curtis, Chris, Christian Master. Uh, yeah, here's your field for today. Now we're going to go trackside for the starting command. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! There you have it as they're going to roll here at Martinsville. Flag out in the air. Down in turn one, looks like Allgaier's got the advantage. He's going to hit the curbing as Carl Edwards also moves underneath Brad Keselowski with help from Paul Menard. Allgaier's got the lead. Three wide for second. Oh, we got a spinner. 99 into the wall. No caution. Of course, Justin Allgaier is way ahead. Trying to make it 4 for 4. They're gonna have to check his car quicker. They're gonna have to check his car very hard after it post race inspection. Because this is unacceptable. That he has won three races in a row. And that's okay. But uh it's not it, I don't know. It's like it's okay, but, like, it's just unfair to the other drivers to open up a season three and three for three. It's just unfair for the other drivers, so we're going to have to check his car very thoroughly post-race inspection. If he's cheating, he will go get, susp he will get suspended for racing for two races, no, three, ra three races, and get... 100 points docked. Maybe that's a little too harsh. Suspended for one race and 100 points docked. That sounds better. Because he's 115 points ahead in, 
he's 115 points ahead, so it really wouldn't matter if he got 100 points taken away. It's a very boring race. Martinsville is always boring. I thought there would be more contact and stuff. Like more battles. There's three wide right there. Austin Dillon, Josh Wise, and JJ Yaley. Dillon checks up there. Here's for third. Battle for third. The 31 trying to get around the 11, as well as the 4 trying to get around the 31. First and second flying around this track. Next race, I do believe, is Eldora. No, it's Charlotte. Oh. I thought for sure it was Eldora. Oh well. Eldora is going to be fun. And Justin Allgaier has just put the 13 a lap down. Casey Mears. Ninety-five is three laps down. As he was on pit road for a little bit. Now back out and running. One of all guys now trying to get around Reg David Reagan. They'll put him a lap down as well as Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. not giving him enough room. Almost made contact through turns one and two. Sixteen not giving them any room as well. Blocking them off there. Seventy-eight. Trying to make a move. Trying to get his lap back. Not giving them any room to get around. That's going to slow them up a little bit. <laughs> Justin Allgaier now losing a bunch of time. As Paul Menard not having to deal with any lap traffic. Kyle Larson and Alex Bowman just came together. Made a little bit of contact there. 51 does a bump and run on the 16, trying to get around, getting around him to put him a lap down. Going, jumping behind Kyle Larson there. Oh, we got a wreck. Caution is out. 55 and the 52 around. Looks like they're going good again. Watch them all stack up. Called it. Heh, called it. <laughs> Look at Carl Edwards hitting the pace car. I called that one. 
There's drivers going around for the wave around already. Stacking up still. We're gonna take a look at the 55 and the 52's wreck now. Looks like the 55 made contact with the 26 and came down into the 88, spinning the 55 into the 52. Not much damage given to either one of those cars. On board the 52 now. That wreck. Twenty seven's gonna have some time to make his moves, I believe. No, okay. Base car lights are out. Several drivers a lap down. Kyle Larson, the last one on the lead lap. He just got the wave around. 27 is 7 seconds behind because of all those lap drivers between him and the 51. Not sure what's going on there. Not the lap. And they have cut one to go. Driver's not in the right spot. Hold the one to go here. Guess the lights are back up. Now they're gonna go one to go this time. Bye. Gonna be two laps to go when we get going. Justin Allgaier trying to make his fourth win in a row. Car and like I've been saying, they're gonna check his car very, very, very thoroughly. Make sure his horsepower is a uh, in within the legal uh, uh, specifications. Green flag back out in the air. Two to go at the line. White flag this time by. Twenty seven got held up, and that's going to do it for this race. Justin Allgaier comes home with a fourth win. Of the season, four for four now. It's going to come back around for a victory lap. Trying to hold post race, it's trying to hold up his post race inspection. Here he comes down pit road. Gonna do the post race inspection now.
There he is. Crews are now inspecting his car as we are now going to take a look at your race results. Justin Long comes home with a win. Richard Sherman second. Amanda Parrott goes third. Wyatt Warner fourth. Second top five in a row for him. Joseph Curtis fifth. C. Rodriguez sixth. Christian Master Jr. Uh, Kevin Haley. Dracia Sadiwala ninth. Uh, and Chris Washer rounds out your top 10. We just got word. Justin Long has failed post-race inspection already. Not sure what's going on down there. So we're going to take it a victory lane. And your points, as they have said, his engine is the problem in the post-race inspection, slightly over the maximum horsepower. Not sure what the penalty is going to be. Um, probably going to dock him a few points. But, nonetheless... He has won four for four, taking you to victory lane and your points. Goodbye, everybody.